In today's video, we are talking about remaining elegant while you are working remotely, while you're teleworking. So let's get into it. Are you here? I'm Laura, and this is Executive Her. On this channel, I help women navigate their professional paths through modern elegance, grace, and sophisticated style. Ladies, 2020, it changed our work lives completely. So many people started to work remotely, more people than ever before. Some people now work remotely full time and others a few days a week. Now the key is, of course, is to remain elegant while you are in a telework or a remote status. So ladies, this is a refresher, but let's face it, sometimes refreshers are good because there are certain things that, well, we may have gotten comfortable with and other things that we may not have thought about. So the first tip, ladies, is you wanna make sure that you are turning your camera on. Now, when it comes to turning your camera on, this is so important for a number of reasons. It shows that you are interested not only in the organization that you're a team player, but also that you're interested in whomever is speaking, a presenter, if they're presenting information, if you're just having a discussion in a discussion where you have to make a decision. You want your camera on because it shows that you are involved, that you are vested, and that you are paying attention to what is going on, what the meeting is all about. Now, when you turn your camera on, you wanna be conscious of a few things. One, make sure you're not multitasking. When you multitask, it gives the appearance that you're not really paying attention, you're in the meeting because you have to be, but you have all of these other things that are going on, so your attention is really kind of split. Also, make sure you're not up walking around. If you're up and you're walking around, it can be very distracting to the other people that are on the call. I can't tell you how many times I've been on calls with people who they're on the call, they're walking around, or if they sat down, they are not looking in the camera, they're actually doing something else, and all the participants are looking at the side of their face, the entire meeting. It is so distracting, and you would rather keep your camera off if you have all of those things to do than to turn it on and be completely distracted and to appear as if you're not in interested at all in the subject matter. So pay attention to the culture of the organization, particularly leadership. If leadership turns their camera on, you wanna turn your camera on as well, especially if you are a leader in the organization. And if you're trying to go to that next level, you want to turn your camera on because you want to look engaged. The second tip, ladies, is to dress the part. When it comes to working remote, we can all get a little comfortable. After all, you are in your home, you feel more relaxed, you feel more comfortable, but you are in a work status. So therefore, you want to ensure that when you are in that work status, that you are dressing the part. If you have a meeting, and it's a very important meeting, put on a blazer. Blazers are a good way to show that you are engaged again, and also that you are a leader in the organization. And it's also very professional. Also, you don't have to wear a blazer all the time, depending on the subject matter. You wanna wear a nice blouse, and you also want to add accessories. Accessories are very important when you are on camera. Just because you're on camera, people can't really see you, the totality of you. They only see your upper body. And you wanna make sure that you are looking presentable, that you are professional. So add a few accessories. This is going to set you apart, again, from some of your colleagues. And you're just going to give a better appearance when you have on accessories. Because remember, accessories really do make an outfit. So whether you wear a chunkier necklace or perhaps some bigger earrings or maybe even add a scarf. A scarf is a great way to add some color around your face. So ladies, make sure that when you are working remotely and you have meetings that you are dressing the part, whether you add a blazer or if you're wearing a nice blouse, include accessories, ladies. And also, if you do wear makeup, include a little makeup. Again, you want to still remain elegant, although you're in a telework posture. Next, ladies, you want to communicate effectively. So when you are on camera, again, you want to communicate effectively because people can't see you in the room. Therefore, they may not be able to hear you. So make sure you're speaking very clearly. Also, make sure that you are listening actively. If someone else is talking, listen with intent. 
follow along with what they're saying, and again, pay attention to what is going on. This, of course, gives you not only the appearance that you are engaged, that you are part of the organization, but also because you are remote, it gives you an opportunity to learn about what is going on, to take notes, and to really get an opportunity to hear the presentation and to focus on the presentation because you don't have some of those distractions that you would otherwise have in the office. Now that leads to our next point, limit the distractions. Now I know some of us have those cute little furry friends or we have some cute little kiddos. Now when that furry friend appears on the camera the first time it may be considered cute but after that it is a distraction. If your organization does not permit pets in the office you should not have your pets on screen while you are at home. You are in a work posture, so your pets, your furry friends, really shouldn't appear on camera all the time. Also, if you have kiddos, kiddos are so cute and we all love them. They're these perfect little darlings, at least we'd like to think so. But the truth is, when you're working, you are working. You should not be taking care of your children. So you wanna make sure that if your children are in your home, that you have someone there that can watch them. Limit the distractions while you are at work. Again, you are in a work posture and you wanna come across as elegant. You wanna come across as a professional. And that truly does diminish your professionalism when you have all of these distractions going on because you're thinking about your children, you're trying to take care of them, and also you're playing with your pets. So make sure that you are limiting the distractions. Next, ladies, you want to invest in some high quality technology. So if you are teleworking, you want to ensure that your technology is quality. You don't want to have situations where you cannot connect to your internet. It's just not working all the time. Make sure you have an internet provider where you're going to get excellent coverage. Also, if you have an external camera, invest in a nice camera so that people can actually see you, that the quality of your picture comes across. And invest in a microphone where they can also hear you. The sound is very clear. It is very important to invest in technology when you're working remotely because again this is a part of your elegance it's a part of your brand so you want to come across as a professional and the way to do that is to have quality technology so that you are communicating and of course so that your calls aren't dropping or that you are missing important emails because you don't have the right internet connection or because again your camera is fuzzy people can't really see you and they are just dreading getting on a call with you because they know I can't hear her, I can't really see her, and it just becomes a distraction when your technology isn't working. So make sure that you're investing in high quality technology. This of course will set you apart from everyone else when you are teleworking. And of course you get to come across a little more elegantly because people will be able to see you and they will be able to hear you as well. Next, ladies, you want to designate an office space in your home where you are working all the time. It is nothing like seeing people move around constantly and you are seeing their bedroom, you're seeing probably their children's play area or their kitchen table. Designate a space in your home where you are working and ensure that that space is clean and tidy and also that the background is a background that is a nice appearance and a professional appearance. Now, if you don't have a space in your home where you can do this, put up a background, one of those artificial backgrounds, because again, you want to appear elegantly. And if you're moving around and your house isn't tidy, you don't want to give that appearance that you're not elegant because you're moving around your home and it isn't tidy at all and it's not organized. Not only does it give this appearance that you are not a professional, clutter and deep disorganization, it really does bring about a level of stress. So make sure that you have an area in your office or in your home that's designated as your office, the place where you work all the time. Also, this helps you in terms of just creating a routine for yourself. When you get into that routine, into that habit, again, this is a part of just being very organized. You're going to appear more elegant because you're not gonna be stressed or flustered because you're running around your house and it's not in the best of shape in terms of taking a meeting. So make sure that you designate a space where you're working Make sure it's clean and organized or use one of those backgrounds so people don't have to see exactly where you are. And ladies, remember, add some plants. Plants are a great way to elevate a space, especially if you are on a budget. When it comes to eating or drinking on camera, I recommend that you do not 
eat while on camera. Remember, people are really focused on your upper body. They're focused on your face. So they are seeing and looking at you eat. If you're gonna come across elegant, you really wanna save time or use your time when you're not on camera to eat. Also, if you're going to drink something on camera, because sometimes we all get thirsty while we're in meetings, or you want to have your coffee or tea, I recommend that you use a real glass as opposed to the sports bottles. And for your coffee or tea, that you use some kind of mug, china, porcelain, something other than paper cups. Again, you're trying to be elegant. And if you're turning up a sports bottle on camera, that really doesn't come across as elegant. And also, treat yourself well. Instead of using plastic and paper all the time, this is a great opportunity for you to treat yourself well and to use that china that you have in your closet that you haven't been using. Next, ladies, you want to practice good posture. So if you are on screen and you wanna be more elegant, make sure that you are sitting up straight, that you are practicing good posture, that you're not yawning or laying back in your seat or you know half asleep while people are talking. You want to practice good posture. You wanna sit up straight. You wanna remain focused while people are speaking. And you also want to look into the camera as opposed to looking away and looking all around the room. Now, I know it's very difficult to constantly stare in the camera, so that's not what I'm saying. But I am saying, look in the camera, make a little eye contact, and of course, blink, look around a little, but don't appear as if you're not paying attention. You want to practice good posture and you want to practice good etiquette while you are on the call. Also, ladies, when it comes to just teleworking, Pay attention to digital etiquette. That means that you are paying attention to emails, what you write in emails, how you craft an email, that you are paying attention to meeting protocols. If the meeting starts at two o'clock, jump on the meeting a couple minutes before two so that you show that just because you are not in the office or in the conference room, that you are still a part of the team, that you are still very respectful and that you are a professional. So make sure that you are practicing good digital etiquette when you are in a remote work status. And ladies, just because you are teleworking or in a remote status, you still want to ensure that you are continuing to learn. So make sure that you sign up for some of these webinars or some of these virtual training courses or virtual training or conference opportunities. You wanna make sure that you are still continuing to educate yourself because again, this is going to set you apart from everyone else when you become the expert in your field. And also when you just take training that's not related to your field, it gives you an opportunity to learn some more things, some different skills. So ladies, those are a few tips in terms of how to remain elegant while you are in a remote or telework status. I hope these have been helpful. If I've left anything out, leave it in the comments below. You know how we do here on this channel. We like to keep the conversation going. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and to subscribe to the channel if you have not. Thank you again. As always, well, I'll see you next time.